Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore back again with another hot and spicy product to review for you guys. Now today I have a salsa and this is from a company that when I first tasted their products I was really blown away because uh, the flavor is just outstanding and the consistency of this, their salsas are just really spot on, really, really good. Now this is from Rick Salsa and I'm going to re be reviewing uh, his new Salsa Verde. Now this is made with tomatillos and green hatch chilies, made with sea salt. Now it is from Mr. Rick McCants, the man, the mustache, the legend. There he is right there. Check him out. All right, now Rick is located, uh, I believe, just north of the uh, Dallas-Fort Worth area there in Texas. Uh, let me go ahead and read what it sa says here on the side. It says, after growing up in West Texas and kicking around Hobbs, New Mexico for a while, we took it back to our roots with this one, made with fire-roasted poblanos, just love poblano peppers, vine-ripened tomatillos, and certified hatch green chilies. You ever had a hatch chili? Just absolutely amazing. Really, really good. you got to have them roasted, though. Um, Rick Salsa Verde pays tribute to a beloved Southwest tradition. Rick McCants, founder, Go Texan. All right, let's go ahead and read the ingredients on this one, guys. We start off with tomato, and then we have hatch green chilies, water, tomatillos, poblano peppers, onion, serrano peppers, garlic, sea salt, spices, turbinado sugar, citric acid, dehydrated onion, dehydrated garlic, and citric acid. Now, I noticed something here. There's not any vinegar in this one, and there's not any lime juice, so I think you're really going to get the uh, a very savory green chili pepper flavor. But just check out this beautiful color on this one, guys. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that green color, and you can see some of the uh, roasted charred pieces of the peppers in there. All right, doesn't that look good? And it comes in these nice, big 16-ounce jars. All right. Now, the aroma on this stuff, guys, is just awesome. I just love the aroma on this one. Um, you really get the uh, the earthy, kind of a sweet, nutty, um, fire-roasted uh, flavor, aroma of those green hatch chilies and the tomatillos that are in here, poblanos, serranos. But you're really getting a nice, awesome, savory uh, fire roasted green verde pepper aroma really smells good now it's not vinegary it's not citrusy because it doesn't have vinegar or, or any citrus in here according to the ingredients so it's really a nice um, green flavor savory with garlic and onions really smells good all right let's go ahead and try a little bit let me show you the consistency of it this one seems to be maybe just a little bit more loose than the other flavors that he has, but not by much. But what I really love is that everything is just so uniform. There's not any bigger chunks than other ones. Everything seems to be uh, chopped up very nicely. Everything's pretty uniform. All right, let's go ahead and taste just a little bit of it here. Here we go. Wow, so good, guys. Salted perfectly, seasoned perfectly. Such a really a rich, earthy, green flavor, verde flavor. You can really get the flavor uh, of those fire-roasted poblano and green hatch chilies and serrano peppers. Nice savoriness from the onions and the garlic that's in here. Uh, really, really good. So this is just amazing. It's, a, it's different um, in the fact that, you know, it doesn't have the lime in here or maybe the... Uh, uh, the cilantro that you find in a lot of other Verdes. So I think it really does a good job of focusing more on the flavor of those green peppers, the fire roasted flavor of poblanos, green hatch chilies, and serranos. And, you know, of course, adding the onions and the garlic to give it that nice savoriness. So this one's a little bit different. I really love this one. It is so good. Um, I'd say the heat on this one is it's very mild. I'd say I'd probably give it a 1 out of 10 on my 1 to 10 scale, just get, registering a little, a little bit of heat, probably mostly from the uh, serrano peppers. Um, but, you know, salsa and chips go so good together, but I love doing something different. I love salsa on eggs. I love salsa for breakfast. So here's a picture of a uh, my breakfast sandwich that I made with a toasted uh, Linder's onion bagel. 
had some scrambled eggs on there with some sausage and cheese and uh, Rick's Salsa Verde, and that was one awesome breakfast sandwich. Um, this is amazing, guys. Really, really good stuff. So if you're looking for a good Salsa Verde, um, I highly recommend Rick's Salsa Company. Really, really good stuff. Check out his other flavors as well. They are just all so delicious. Check him out on Facebook, guys. Give him a like, and you can find him at ricksalsa.com. Link will be down in the description. If you're there in the Texas area, um, he's all over, I believe, the state. So he's got many, many different uh, locations in San Antonio, Houston, Austin, Fort Worth, Dallas. Uh, so make sure if you are in che Texas, you'll probably be able to get a jar there locally. All right, Rick, thank you so much for sending it. I do appreciate it. And guys, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. And until the next time, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.